Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video for equivalent fractions. In this video I'll cover the Year 5 Equivalent Fractions Worksheet. I'll go through each of the questions, modelling how to find the answers, and cover some of the things you may have found a little bit tricky. Question 1. Mark with an X the shapes that have 3 quarters shaded. So what we need to do is look at the shapes, work out what fraction is being represented in them, and work out whether or not this fraction is equivalent to 3 quarters. So if we look at shape A, we can see shape A has been split into four parts. And three of those parts have been shaded in yellow. So that means three is our numerator and four is our denominator. So shape A has three quarters shaded. So we can put an X in the box next to A. Shape B then has been split into 12 parts. And nine of those parts have been shaded in pink. So what we need to do now is work out whether nine twelfths is equivalent to three quarters. And to do that, we can do some division. If we divided nine by three, we would get three. Whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So if we divide 12 by three, we get four. So that tells us that B is also equivalent to 3 quarters. So we can put a cross in the box next to B. Shape C has been split into 8 parts. And 5 of those parts have been shaded in brown. So C represents 5 eighths. There's nothing we can do to make 5 eighths into 3 quarters. If I were to divide 8 by 2, I would get 4 which would give us the correct denominator. But then if I were to divide 5 by 2, I would get 2.5. And there's no such fraction as 2.5 quarters. That's not real. Can't do that. So 5 eighths is as it is, and we don't put a cross in the box. Shape D has been split into 8 pieces, and 6 of those have been shaded in. If we divide 6 by 2, we get 3. And if we divide 8 by 2, we get 4. And that shows us that 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 quarters. So we can put an X in the box next to D. Finally, shape E. Shape E is being divided into 16 pieces. And 12 of those 16 pieces have been shaded in blue. If we divide 16 by 4, we get 4 for our denominator. And if we divide 12 by 4, we get 3. So E is also equivalent to 3 quarters, and we can put a cross in the box next to E. So the only box that shouldn't have a cross is C, because A, B, D and E all have fractions shaded that are equivalent to 3 quarters. Question 2. Complete the sequence of equivalent fractions. Use the diagram to help you. So there's a sequence of fractions and they're all equal to one another. And then the diagram shows you what you need to do to the fractions to make them equivalent. So for example, if we do 4 sixths, and then the fra next fraction in the sequence has 8 as its numerator, 4 must have been multiplied by 2 to give us 8. And if you remember the rule, whatever you do to the numerator, you do to the denominator. That tells us we also have to times 6 by 2. And that gives us 12. So 4 6 is equivalent to 8 twelfths. The next fraction in the sequence has a denominator of 18. So if we think about 4 6 again. To make 6 into 18, we must multiply by 3. Whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So we must times 4 by 3. 4 times 3 is 4, 8, 12. So 12 18 is equivalent to 8 12 which is also equivalent to 4, 6. Finally then, what we need to do is find the uh, fraction where the numerator is 16. So again, if we look at 4 6 to make 4 into 16, we multiply by 4. So we must multiply 6 by 4. 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. 
So the sequence goes 4 6 8 twelfths, 12 18 and 16 24 Sequence B, if we do the same thing again, if we look at 3 8 we think about how we make 8 into 16. To make 8 into 16, you multiply it by 2. So we must multiply 3 by 2, which gives us 6. To make 3 into 9, we multiply by 3. So we must multiply 8 by 3, which is 24. And then finally, 32. So to make 8 into 32, what we need to do is multiply by 4. So whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 8 is equal to 6 16, which is equal to 9 24, which is equal to 12 32. Question 3. Jasmine shades this shape. She says two-fifths of my shape is shaded. Explain her mistake. So if we look carefully at Jasmine's shape, we can see that two squares in her shape have been shaded and that in total there are 5, 10, 15, 20 parts to the shape. So Jasmine has shaded two twentieths of this shape. If Jasmine wants to shade two-fifths of this shape, what she'll need to do is shade two full columns, like so. Because now what Jasmine has is two, four, six, eight twentieths. If we find an equivalent fraction to eight twentieths by dividing by four, 8 divided by 4 gives us 2, and 20 divided by 4 gives us 5, so 8 twentieths is 2 fifths. We can also see this by looking at the shape, so if we look at the two columns, there are 2 columns shaded out of 5 columns, which is equivalent to 2 fifths. So Jasmine hasn't shaded enough of her shape, she needs to shade 2 full columns or 8 twentieths, as 8 twentieths is equivalent to 2 fifths. That was an answer explanation video from Classroom Secrets on equivalent fractions. If you would like to watch the video tutorial that accompanies this step, please visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. And if you would like any more resources on this step, please visit our other website, classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thanks for watching. See you soon.